Okay, in this video, we're going to look at measuring angles in degrees and radians. Okay, so for your entire schooling, more or less up to this point, you're probably going to have been measuring angles in degrees. Okay, measure that angle there as say 30 degrees. Okay, but there's another unit for measuring angles called radians. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that now, okay, and how it all works. <coughs> so the first thing we need to talk about is the unit circle, which I've drawn here. This is an incredibly useful uh, diagram for all of our work on trigonometry, okay? And it's gonna build as we go through the unit. So the idea of the unit circle, okay, is it's centered at the origin with a radius of one unit. Okay, so I said centered there with a radius of one unit. This means our circumference all the way around the outside would be two times our radius, which is one times pi, or just two pi units, okay? If we move around the circle, okay, sorry, I'll change colors. We move around the circle. So if we start here and came around the circle like this, and we came around one unit, okay, then we can see here that this angle here, this bit here, okay, that's defined as what we call one radian. Okay, we've created an angle of one radian. Now it's one little C up there. Uh, don't confuse that with one degree Celsius. It's not that, it's just one C for radian. Okay, and I'm not sure why it's C. Okay, I know we're saying it's radian, but we're saying it's one C. I don't know if it's got something to do with circumference or not. Okay, but little C is the unit we use, and you'll see that we often don't actually write the little C that often, just like we don't write the degree sign that often like if I'm taking sine of 30 degrees often we'll just say sine of 30 and not 30 degrees and we'll do a similar thing with our radians often okay so if we come around the unit by the circle sorry by one unit we create an angle of one uh, radian now this is actually described as a positive direction moving this way so anti-clockwise Starting at the x-axis, okay, is where we measure our units for them and in an anti-clockwise direction. Now, we need to be able to convert, though, from one radian to one degree and vice versa. So what we can say is with one radian, and note there's not one degrees radian, or like we have one degree Celsius or anything. We have degrees and we have radians. So one radian is equal to 180 on pi. Okay, 180 on pi. One degree is equal to pi on 180. So pi radians on 180. Okay, so if we need to convert 30 degrees to radians, then we're going to have, well, we've got times this side by 30. Okay, and I've got times this side by 30. Okay which would mean that I've got, oh, sorry, wrong way, wrong way, sorry. I'm converting 30 degrees, sorry, it's this one. 30 degrees to radians, so I'm times you both sides by 30. Okay, we can see that 30 and 180 will cancel out. So 30 degrees equals pi on six radians, okay? So basically all the time when we're talking radians, you're gonna see that pi is involved. Okay, so very typical ones is that pi on six, because that's 30 degrees. Okay, pi on four, okay, that's 45 degrees. Pi on three, that's 60 degrees. Pi on two is 90 degrees. Okay, and pi radians equals 180 degrees. Okay, so these are gonna be the typical units that we work in when we do radians in our work with trigonometry. Okay, so uh, this section is all just about measuring in degrees and radians and our questions are mainly going to be based on this conversion. So hopefully that'll be enough to get you through.